four, five, six, seven, eight. If one, you were to look two, two, three, four, five, at photos of Alexandra Light nine. as a child. I was two and a half or three years old when my mom put me in my first like little ballet classes. You might expect to find her in the North Texas room where she fills her days as an adult. Every year my mom would say, you want to sign up for that again? And I would say yes, every year, kind of until today. What's unexpected is where she pay. stands. One, two. Again. In a room and a field dominated by women. Three, four. The spots at the top typically go to men. A lot of people on the outside of the dance world still don't realize. In the industry, it's still very much a boys game. Still have stereotypes out who makes a good leader and who doesn't. Tracy Rocket teaches management practice at Texas Christian University. She can point to any number of studies that show the still far too wide gulf between women and management. But that gulf persists even in fields dominated by women. In public schools, for instance, um, you know, men uh, make up the minority of teachers, but um, to keep them very often, they will be offered promotion opportunities uh, much earlier than women are. You see that in the restaurant industry, in education, um, in healthcare, and in dance. According to the Dance Data Project, among the largest 150 ballet companies in America, barely a quarter of works produced last year were choreographed by women. So I'm still like a little seedling of a choreographer in a lot of ways. Light typically works as a dancer for the Texas Ballet Theater. She's at the front of this room. And a coupe and a coupe three times. But she knows the hurdles keeping her from being at the front for good. Women feel replaceable or they're kind of made to feel replaceable. There's a choreographic workshop. You don't sign up for that because you're like, well, I need to, I need to dance. During the COVID-19 pandemic, women quit the workforce in larger numbers. They reported larger rates of burnout. They reported more often taking on the extra burden of childcare. And at companies where women tend to take the lead on efforts of diversity and equity, they typically don't get additional pay or recognition. Women have the second shift. But Rocket sees hope in Light's generation. Again with Gen Z, um, they will leave. Um, uh, and they will leave without a backup job. They will leave without a plan. Um, if they're dissatisfied, they're going to take off. I think a lot of dancers sort of face it at some point that, you know, there's a lot of problems with our career. Like we love dance so much, but there's a lot of work to be done. One, two, three, four. Let's go back to those photos. They show a girl who loved dance but not just dancing. Even when I was a little kid, I loved choreographing. I would go with my best friend um, to, we would go down to the dance studio together and bring my boom box. As I got into my professional career, it completely waned. Light five, took the path seven, she was steered eight, one, to take. Two, now, four, five, her six, eyes are seven, set eight, not just one, in the room, two, three, four, but at the front, five, six, seven, getting eight, there one, two, three, and four, five, staying there. Six, I have goals for where I want to be in the future, but I'm really proud of where I am now. In Fort Worth, Texas, I'm Matt Pearl.